So I'm on the uh, roof of the hotel here. It's an absolutely beautiful evening sunset. The sun is going down. I've got two cameras set up. I've got the 600D and I've got the 5D3. So we can have a look at the comparative results of both of them. On the 600D, I've got the 1855 kit lens. On the 5D3, I've got the Canon 24-105 L-series lens. So they're both shooting in RAW and I've set them so that uh, hopefully they'll both get a, a good uh, call at the sunset shot. We'll see anyway. And what I've done on both is I've used the Magic Lantern intervalometer on both, which I've got installed, and that makes it really easy. I've got one second intervals on that, so it should be a nice smooth uh, sunset as it goes down. Settings on both, what I did was I focused sort of in the mid foreground on both of them, and I exposed on the clouds. You can't really expose on these ones on the sun itself because it's much too bright, so you have to expose on the nearest clouds with the sun out of the, of the shot to get a reasonable shot. So I've exposed on that. I think I've got an um, ISO on this one of uh, 600D of uh, 200 and on the 5D3 360 I think and I've got ap quite narrow apertures, aperture around about 16 on both to give a nice depth of feel to the shot and the shutter speed I've tried to keep that relatively low as well relatively low shutter speed on these and the other trick is with the aperture is that because both have got automatic lenses uh, they can tend to flicker introduce a bit of flicker in the shots on these time lapses so what I've done is I've actually uh, disconnected the lenses by turning them, uh, unlocking them slightly, uh, which I'll show you as well. And that basically disables the automatic feature, whilst at the same time I was holding down the exposure simulation button, which locks the exposure at the exposure I set before I uh, turned the lenses. So they're set at that and they can't flicker, so that's a, a, a trick there. I've also set the uh, white balance to cloudy on both, so it should be a richer sort of look to the shots, although recording in RAW it doesn't make an awful lot of difference. You can change that afterwards and hopefully now they produce some uh, good results. So thanks very much for watching, I hope you found that useful.